What is going on everybody out there in the YouTube trucking community? Sean Cahill and Christian Brother Trucker coming at you again with another video today. And today I want to talk about rough patches in trucking. Um, it's been a few months since I posted a video, well, maybe just over a month or so. Um, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I went through a rough patch where I had a couple of breakdowns, had some short checks, and um, directly after I broke down a second time, I had to uh, move from Arkansas to Idaho. So with all of those uh, transitions and changes and being short on miles and hitting breakdowns and all of those things, I went through a really rough patch and um, I started freaking out a little bit about my financial situation. Um, but I put my faith in God, leaned on God. Uh, being a Christian, I uh, usually will take my fears to God and eventually God will see me through. Um, that ended up being the case again for me where I, I went home um, and I, you know, I was kind of reeling and had some storms going on inside my head and inside my spirit and all of that. And so I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. I was looking for other jobs um, <clears throat> where I can make a lot more money and the things like that. And so because night transportation um, is a long term um, financial outlook, especially with the training uh, being tied to bonuses and longevity, um, I tend to be a little bit more impulsive and a little bit more job hopper kind of guy, you know, um, where I always think that the grass will be greener if I just go somewhere else. And I've pretty much have failed to create any bit of longevity in my jobs because as soon as things get tough, um, I tend to jump ship. But I went home and night transportation uh, actually gave me, I think it was three days of paid time off. Um, yeah, I think it was three days, paid time off after 90 days, which is amazing. Um, a lot of companies don't do that. Uh, with a lot of other companies, you don't get any paid time off until you're with the company for you know up to a year. Um, and so I went ahead and put in for that. And I took uh, five days off, five or six days off. I went home and reset and uh, recuperated um, from a couple of rough months that kind of did a number on me. I had a lot going on. And so um, I went home and and I was definitely um, blessed with a really nice paycheck. And uh, part of the reason why I was blessed with a nice paycheck was because I got a referral, a referral bonus. And so to the driver out there that came over to Night Transportation and gave them my driver code, and helped me get a referral bonus. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate that. It was well needed uh, in my financial situation. And so it was a huge blessing to have that on my check as well. <clears throat> um, you know, sometimes life gets rough and you got to kind of step back and, and take a break every once in a while uh, before you make any rash decisions. And that's kind of what I did. Um, my operations team, my management team, um, out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, they've been amazing. Nothing, nothing but amazing, nothing but accommodating, nothing but understanding. Um, you know, sometimes you just can't control what goes on out here. And sometimes you'll hit a rough patch. Sometimes you'll hit a rough patch in training. Sometimes you'll hit a rough patch in solo driving. <clears throat> um, it happens out here. We're not in control of a lot of things. And night transportation can only do so much when it comes to, you know, helping us out. And uh, this company has done a lot to help me out. And I'm very grateful for that. And so I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to go home and, and kind of reset my, um, reset my attitude and kind of relax, enjoy my home time, get some stuff done around the house that I had to put off after the move. And so it was really, really nice to just be able to go home uh, for an extend, extended period of time and still draw a paycheck. Um, that was awesome and amazing. And I don't think that that would be available with a lot of other companies. Um, you know, again, night transportation treats you with a lot of respect and they accommodate a lot of, a lot of people and do everything that they can to help people out. 
and they're very understanding, very compassionate, and um, I have nothing but nice things to say about about the team. Um, there are some definite challenges when it comes to figuring out certain things like fuel bonuses. You know, I've talked, <clears throat> I think I may have talked about them before, maybe not. Um, the fuel bonuses can be a, a little bit tricky to hit um, because you really got to dial in how much fuel you're putting on and when you're putting it on the truck. And if you put too much fuel on on the wrong day and don't post enough loads for the week, um, it can definitely take you a while to figure that out. And so there are definite challenges that present themselves and, you know, I guess if it was easy, then it wouldn't be worth attaining, I guess. Um, I, I definitely wish that it was a lot simpler to hit the fuel bonus uh, for one main thing, um, but I'm going to keep working on it and keep trying to figure it out. Um, you know, with, timing with loads. And with the fuel purchasing, is it's really tricky to figure out. So I'm going to keep plugging along on that. Um, if you're thinking about coming over to Night Transportation, um, I've got nothing but nice things to say about them. Um, in trucking in general, you're going to hit rough patches. And when you hit a rough patch and you've been out on the road for a couple, three weeks at a time, two, three weeks at a time, you know, before you go and jump ship and try a different company, um, you know, go home and think about what you're doing, pray. Um, I know for me personally, being a Christian, prayer in my in my life has been powerful. Um, you know, when I'm at my wits end and I've tried everything and I start praying and I give it over, um, things happen. And, um, you know, there's some definite, definite things out here that'll try your patience and try your faith, uh, test your faith. And uh, I know that I've gone through some things in trucking in general, but uh, especially here recently, like I said, with just the, the, the really bad timing on the breakdowns and then the moving across the country. But night transportation has just been awesome on helping me out, being understanding, being very respectful, and just supporting me in, in all of my decisions that I was attempting to make. Um, you know, I had another job lined up where I was going to go somewhere else and they were very understanding. They, um, were supportive on, on me leaving and were willing to work with me on, you know, getting the truck dropped off at the right location at the terminal and were even willing to help me get home. A lot of companies aren't willing to do that either. <clears throat> so, you know, night transportation has really surprised me in a lot of different respects and, you know, it's the, it's the little things that end up being the huge things. And, you know, I'm not proud of, of the way that I act sometimes. Um, I get uh, very impetuous, very impatient, and want everything right now. And if I don't get everything that I want right now, um, I usually start looking elsewhere to try to jump ship and try something new. <clears throat> something I've struggled with for a long, long time. And so after I took some home time, reset, and um, recuperated and prayed and um, all of that, I decided to stick it out. Um, I'm not going to go anywhere. I need to try to create some longevity and see how that, how that pays off in the long run. And if I don't ever stick around, at a job, I'm not going to be able to build up any longevity and I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be able to find out how longevity is going to pay off in the long run. So, um, but yeah, night transportation, um, their training is awesome. Um, as far as coming over here as a new trainee and going through their training program, it is one of the most relaxed, set, laid back training environments that you'll ever find. Um, night transportation really is accommodating and a lot slower paced when it comes to the uh, training program. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is, you know, I was at another company that had a weekly mileage quota that you had to meet uh, for each trainee that came on the truck. And, um, you know, with that, 
if you didn't hit your mileage, then you had to stay on the truck longer. Well, here it's a time requirement. So you're on the truck for two weeks or four weeks, depending on what program you're in. But there's no minimum mileage quota that you have to meet. And that's basically because they believe in safety over production. And so, you know, if you're tired and you can't do 400, 500 miles a day, then they don't they don't set that requirement of you to, to cover, you know, 2,500 miles a week. <clears throat> and so, which, you know, it, it's beneficial because you can still drive up to 400, 500 miles a day, but they don't expect that from you right away. And you're able to kind of progress and grow and build up your endurance and all of that. But they also don't let us drive team. And so uh, because of that fact, the trainer is able to switch out with the trainee at any time. If the trainee f starts to get tired, needs to take a nap, needs to lay down, any of that stuff. There's no um, requirement of driving, you know, either solo plus dispatch or team, team driving dispatch. <coughs> and so they just don't believe in pushing the truck that hard. Um, on the trainers and the trainees and so if if you're new to trucking and you want to come over here and you want to get involved in night transportation's training department and you've got your CDL or you need training give night transportation a call and see what they can do for you and if you give them a call let them know that Sean Cahalan told you to give them a call and says that they're awesome and that their training program is an excellent training program and uh, if you call make sure and give them my driver code which is 24807 and let them know that I said to give them a call and they can answer all your questions that you might have about uh, getting out here and getting trained and getting on the road in your own truck. <clears throat> if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.